My name is Morgan Musgrave and I'll be speaking about why HBO Now is a better quality streaming service than Netflix. Okay. As a film and video major, I like to think that I have good taste in entertainment, or at least in production value. Everyone has seen popular shows like Stranger Things, Game of Thrones, and Girls, proving that both Netflix and HBO have things to offer to a wide audience. What is less certain is which streaming service is the best for each or average viewer. Today, I would like to advocate for HBO. The first main point I will touch on is that HBO offers quality over quantity. The second main point I would like to touch on is that while Netflix is a few dollars cheaper each month, so are its shows. I will elaborate more on that later. First, I would like to talk about why HBO's content is better than Netflix. The term quality over quantity is truly the best descriptor for the difference between Netflix and HBO. Netflix has a vastly different budget than HBO, and they seem to use that budget to purchase and contract as many TV shows and movies as they possibly can just to raise their number and how much they offer. On the other hand, HBO's budget is smaller, but is used to create and offer the most quality series and movies rather than just blast you with tons of options. According to QZ.com, execs at HBO and FX have both stated that there is a glut of oversupply from streamers like Netflix and that they are committed to quality control and showing off an editorial voice that you won't find at those gluttonous streamers. I can sift through Netflix for ages and only find overpopularized or B films or series. The expression, if it's good on Netflix and I've, then I've already seen it, has become more and more popular as time goes on. And to those people I say, have you tried HBO now? In my experience, HBO Now selects films and series made popular by people, not by the studios who overproduced or over-advertised them. Secondly, people tend to stick their nose up to HBO simply because it's $7 more a month. However, as I stated before, while Netflix is cheaper, so is its content. Sure, the series that Netflix creates are pretty great. Most of them have good production, writing, and acting, mostly. But the same can't be said for most of their movies. Netflix is oversaturated with crummy films across every genre, mostly due to poor writing and horrible acting. You won't find this at HBO now. Not only do they specialize in good drama, but they offer great comedies, horror, and even family movies, which is lesser known. Sure, it's $7 extra a month, but would you rather pay $8 a month to see terrible movies and rewatch shows you've seen a hundred times out of boredom, or would you rather pay $14.99 to see quality blockbuster films, weekly news, and amazing shows that everyone is talking about? According to Guardian.com, subscribers can not only access current programming like GOT, VP, Silicon Valley, Girls, and True Detective on the day they air, but can also, or can finally, get around to watching those uh, Sopranos, The Wire, or Six Feet Under. Either that, or have countless rainy days on the couch to watch Sex and the City Marathon. HBO chairman and CEO Richard Plepler also told The Guardian that he thinks that it's a question of people simply taking a look at the value proposition of how much is available on HBO Now and appreciating that. In conclusion, I would like to reaffirm my point that HBO is a better monthly investment than Netflix. I'm not, only the, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Tomsguide.com gave some pros and cons for internet streaming services such as Hulu, Amazon Prime, and of course HBO and Netflix. The only con for HBO listed was that it was pricey. Its one con was outweighed by its pros, such as award-winning original programming, top-tier movies, and original news programming. So, if you can bring yourself to spend $7 extra a month, I truly believe you will find that you are much more satisfied and challenged by the programming you watch on HBO Now. Thank you.